Good Gardener. I'm out here first thing in the morning because yesterday I went ahead and chopped down some bamboo from somebody in Orange City that had some that said I could chop it down. I loaded it on my trailer. It rained all the way home. So I left it on my trailer to this morning. Everything's all wet, but I need to show you what you need to do in order to get them ready so you could prop up your banana plants. So, right over here you can see they're all chopped down and they're really long and they get bushy towards the end. Well, all of this growth you got to chop off. So, with that said, I have a machete. I have a couple different types, sickles, machetes, thick ones. But this is razor sharp. I sharpen them. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your bamboo and going level, you're going to cut them off like this. Now, if you go down this way, it takes off the green, and if you go this way, upward, it doesn't take off the green. I like going upward, so let me get one down. Hopefully without knocking the camera over. <clears throat> okay. Ugh. Let me turn the camera. I'm going to go on that side and film. Okay, so working with bamboo, bamboo can be pretty heavy <clears throat> and pretty hard to work with. Could be awkward. So I like to use the machete going up instead of down because it doesn't gouge into. If you go this way down, it tends to gouge into the bamboo and then it'll decay quicker. So I like going upward like this and see the way it cuts it off Now definitely try to sharpen your blade. I ground this down, it's like a razor blade. Now, <clears throat> when you're up high enough, just take the bamboo. If you go straight like this, nothing, nothing's going to happen. You got to go on an angle like this. Watch. See what happens when you cut it on an angle, it cuts right through. You could chop like this all you want, and it's not going to go through the bamboo. So there you go, here's one already done. Once I get these all stripped, then I'm gonna measure those next to the trailer. I'm gonna do a template. <clears throat> I'm gonna do them about 18 foot long. And then depending on what size I need, normally about 12 foot, 15 foot, then I'll cut them. But on occasion, I might need a real long one. OK, 
Okay, so. Okay, let me do a couple up here. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and go down like this. You can see they come right off. Turn them. Sorry, my back's to you. I'll put the camera there in a second, but you go like this. You can see them coming off. Here's another. Now I'm chopping them on my trailer so all the branches fall on the trailer and I could go dump it. If I do it off the trailer, I gotta pick it all up. So let me get this from another angle. Okay, so. Here's the bamboo. Just cut off whatever you see, like that. And once you get up here towards the thin part, just cut it. You can see all the, you can see all this and it just chops off. When you get bamboo, you really want to find stiff bamboo that's an inch on the top and an inch and a half on the bottom. That's about the sturdiest to hold up your banana plants. If you get bamboo that's thin, it's going to be flimsy. Now I'm going to start growing clumps of bamboo, clumping bamboo around the property. And in about two years I'll have some. I could cut them down and use them every year. But for now, I gotta go around and find them and cut them down. I bring my Sawzall and it cuts it right down, right at the bottom easily. I don't whack them and mess with them. And then put them on the trailer, tie them up, get them home. If anybody's got any that lives locally, let me know. I'll come cut them down, load them on the trailer and take them away for you. Cause I need, I need a couple hundred of them. Right now I'm struggling to keep up because I got more banana plants than I do bamboo or PVC pipe. And it takes two pieces of bamboo to prop up one banana plant. So for 100 banana plants, you need 200 pieces. And you got to replace them every now and then because they rot. You use them for one season, by the next season, maybe you can use it again. Or maybe it decayed and it rotted already. So um, it's a constant process. So, to make this go easier, because it's hard turning it, I'm going to come right up here to the top, and I'm going to cut this off, get it out of my way. That way, it's easier. You don't have that big top hanging. Okay. 
No matter what, it's work. But farming and gardening is work. Permaculture is work. It's not. It's not as easy unless you got a crew working for you. You got to get out there and do the work. So I'm out here first thing in the morning before the sun comes up, because then I'll be standing here and baking 95 degree sun or hotter. Okay, here's another. I can finish them off once I cut them all up. Now when you measure them, you measure from the top down. Can you see how this bends? So over here, you're gonna wanna cut it up this way. So I'll leave it, I'll cut them, I'll cut them later. So, what I'm gonna do now, instead of struggling, because I wanted to show you, let's go over here. Okay, so these are the ends hanging off my trailer. I just don't wanna cut them here, because I'll be cutting off a good part. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to go down and I'm going to see where where it goes where it turns thin and I'm going to cut them off right where it right where it gets thin just like that Okay, so on the trailer, now I'm going to trim them up. Okay, the reason why I'm doing it on the trailer, you see the tailgate holds it up and I don't have to bend down and, and pick it up and hold it. Always good to work smarter, not harder. I think this makes it a little easier. This bamboo here, seems pretty thin you can tell by the weight of it so it's only going to last a little while the thicker stuff the more mature depends on the variety it will last longer and hold up better but i always say beggars can't be choosy So use what you got. Or what's available to you. In this case they were free and available. And I was chopping them down and it was raining out. Which felt good because the sun went away. But I came home all wet. You get the point. Let me go ahead and finish this up and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. Okay, so I went ahead and trimmed them up, threw some on this side, threw them on that side. 
now I want to cut these to the size that are usable. So what I want to do is this is an 18 foot trailer. So I put the short end all the way up to the front. It can't go anymore. So I know this is 18 foot. So I want to cut them and they'll fall down on the trailer and then they'll be all uh, approximately 18 foot like 17 something that way I could work with them when I go to uh, use them at the banana plants and when I go to the banana plants since each banana plants a different height where the stalk comes out where the blossom the hands and the racks are gonna hang then you could put the bamboo up to it see the length and then cut off more if you want otherwise you can lean them out more so a sawzall is what I used yesterday a lot of people will just bring a machete and cut them down and it's a lot of whacking a lot of debris falls down from the vibration and you in Florida weather it's just like really hot this here just goes through them easily just bring some batteries with you all this that I cut down only used one bar out of four bars so I got a lot more use out of it so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right about here it looks to be about right um, remember this is the thick side that's the thin side so it's a good place to cut it so i'm just going to go ahead and cut them right here so they fall down if i did it there they wouldn't fall down right here is good um i want to cut them on see these notches over here well that's like a wall in there so water don't go through it's hollow in there i'll show you when i cut one but i want to cut it on this side of it like this And if you look in here, look, it's solid. And if you look at the part that I just cut off, if I take something like this and stick it in there, look how far down it goes in there. Water will go in there, so you don't want that. So here's a node. I'm gonna cut it by the node. See how easy that cuts? There's a wall right there. You're not gonna get insects or dirt in it. Now these I'll save. I could use these for different things, for smaller banana plants, or just to hold something up. I showed you on how to tie them up right over here you could tie a rope around it so they V out or you could drill a hole drill a hole and put a rope through it I'll show you that at a later time for now let me get these done okay so once again got my sawzall I put the thin side down there. Also, I want to show you something. These are full grown bamboo, but you see these are thin wall. You see the space in here? These will crack easier. Okay, this right here, you see right here, this is a thin wall. So this bamboo will not last as long as this bamboo. 
and it will crack easier. This bamboo has a thick wall. You see my finger doesn't fit in and over here I could put almost two fingers in. Can you see that? Always try to grow or get a larger, stronger type bamboo. A good bamboo for this is sea breeze, but sea breeze over the years can get up to three or four inches thick and you don't want that. So a real good one for this is silver stripe. They're readily available, cost you about $60 plus shipping for a plant unless you can find one local. They grow this thick and they're perfect for doing what I'm doing. And I wanna get some green stripe. So if anybody's got any green stripe, I want a bunch of them. I wanna take some clippings if you'll let me have some. I'll swap you some banana plants for some clippings. How about that? Now there's a deal you can't refuse. Okay, so I went ahead and cut those up. I got a big mess over there to clean up. I just went ahead and grabbed some string. The closest to me, you could use wire. You could use better rope. I just wanted to show you on the video. Okay, so you can see these all fit in this 18 foot trailer. Um, right over here, you could take this rope and you could spin it a couple times around. Tie it up like that. Or you could drill a hole and drill a hole, but on the top side of those little um, nodes that I talked about so water don't go down in it. You could cut your rope. Now, your ropes, you're going to be able to do this. See with the ropes on there? Now there's a, uh, a V that goes right around the banana plant and it'll prop it up. I'll prove it. Okay, so hey, I'm in front of this banana plant. It's leaning. It's got a really big stalk coming out with a big butt on it. And it looks to me like it's going to have a lot of uh, bananas on it. So I'm going to go ahead and prop it up. Okay, so I have the X going around the stalk coming out, so it's supporting it, and I have it pushed up, and even, you see me when I pushed it up, the plant went up a little bit, but you have these extending down into your yard, it'd be hard to cut the grass, so I could actually come and cut off the bottom, so they're in closer, so I could go around, or I could just go under it with my mower it doesn't matter but let me show you how it's propped up so right over here you can see it's a big female bud it has a bunch of bananas on it I actually hit that banana and it pushed out hopefully they're okay and you can see how far up it goes and how far down. And now as I back up, you can see it's propped up really nicely. Now I have more like this huge one right over here. See that huge one? All 
Okay, so that's a huge banana stalk with a blossom on the end. It's going to have a lot of bananas. So, since I got bamboo, I'm going to go ahead and drill some holes and put rope around them or some wire in them. And I'm going to come over here and prop up all the ones that I feel with the weight of it could come down. And you have to do that. Because once these bananas get real heavy, they're going to pull your plant to the ground. It's going to snap at the base or it's going to snap at the top. And once that happens, that's it. You wasted a whole year plus growing your plant, growing your banana crop, and it's over. That's it. Gone. Unless they're at the ripening stage. So prevent it from happening is the way to go. So if you're growing bananas, you got to think ahead. Get PVC pipe, get yourself some poles, get yourself some, some bamboo, start growing bamboo. I'm going to start growing bamboo so I have a, every year I have a good supply because for right now, I got to find people that got it that want me to go there and cut it down. A lot of work, a lot of hassle. I rather do it all in-house like I do with the Mexican sunflower. Got my own fertilizer and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm out here first thing in the morning. I went ahead and propped this one up, as you can see. So, now that I did this one, you've seen I got more to do. I cut those up. I got some work to do. So, with that said, hey, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. Give me a like. Give me a share. That's the only way I know, or I'm going to know, that you want to see more of these type of videos. Come on over to my Facebook page. Come on over to my Facebook group. Be glad to have you. We all post there. I post more there than I do videos. And... You know a lot of pitches banana shakes all that stuff and um, a lot of other people post and we post our garden in on there so what do you got to lose come on over post some pics tell us about your garden your property ask some questions we'll be glad to help so with that said hey hope to see you all soon okay so here's the bonus footage I always put at the end of the videos I went ahead and got one more because that's a really big one. I'm just going to prop it up right now. Okay, that's it. You've seen it. I just put that under there. That's not going to come down. It's not going to break. It's not going to split. Just so long as my bamboo holds up and I don't knock them over when I'm cutting the grass and stuff like that. So, anyway, with that said, I really do hope you subscribe so you can check out a lot of other videos that I post. And, you know, give me a like and I'll know that. But if not... Come on over to my Facebook page or my Facebook group. I know you're going to enjoy that. So we'll talk to you soon.